Hi, so let's see something new this time, which we rarely talk about. So it's about the fertility preservations. Fertility preservations are like a reproductive life. If you have problems, you spoil it, decrease it, you can do it. So what is actually fertility preservation? The fertility preservation is basically meant that you store or you create a backup of your fertility by storing either your eggs or either your sperms or either your embryos. That's what we fertility preservation. So today, let us speak about the fertility preservation in men. See, generally for men, it is comparatively easy to preserve the fertility. So, when and all actually when the need, when does the need arises? Usually when there is a very, 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 very low sperm counts. Sometimes if a patient has a fear factor that impending a subsequent test is on the fail, innu further counts reduce agu abdina, the semen can be collected and it can be frozen. And second thing, sometimes when a patient has got diagnosed with cancer, because nowadays we all know that there is a 10% incidence of malignancies, even in less than uh, almost like 30 to 40 years. Abdeen irikrapa, when there is some malignancy where it is like chemo kudukano, radiation therapy kudukano, illa sometimes any immunosuppressant drugs kudukano abdeen irikrapa vandhi, usually chemo and radio destroys the testic testis and the germ cells the sperm production goes to zero sometimes after the recovery it may rarely come up sometimes it may not so in such cases when you are diagnosed in situations like this you will be might be emotional but still like you can have a little bit amount of time to save this sperm counts fourth thing is like testicular cancer suppose if the cancer occurs in the testis itself still yeah you can very much store your sperms because the sperms do not carry the cells for transmission of your uh, cancer genes because testicular cancer is not something very inheritable sometimes it develops without any said reasons so these are all the situations where you can store your sperms so how to store the sperms you can collect your semen that is like how do you do normally collect and then you store minimum of at least four to five samples can be stored so that in the future if uh, when the person gets recovered when he's already married having no children or when he's planning to get married you can use those sperms very well for a natural conceptions like iui also or depending upon the other reasons it can be used in the situation arises for ivf so supposedly if that cancer gets diagnosed in adolescent age group that is like adolescence where the person is like may not be very comfortable in collecting the sperms by masturbations or when the kid is young enough to understand the situation usually when the kid is beyond 13 and 14 we can call them we can talk to them we can counsel them and then explain them and go ahead for the process of collections or when it is too sometimes you can take the testicular tissues that is like the testicular tissues are usually like light flimsy structures that is like very papery thin structures that can be taken out and it can be frozen with the sperms so that also can be very well used in the future so nowadays the cancer therapy is improving and there is a very good survival rate now we are talking a lot about a real life that is life survival after cancer in such cases we can actually lead a very normal life by having a children but many people are ignorant about this so if you can just think a small uh, thing about this fertility preservations before your therapy or before other situations you can actually lead a very normal life as like everybody else and have a very good reproductive life the life with your own kin so this is all about the fertility preservations in men subsequently we'll speak about the women uh, see you then bye